Well, boys, <laughs> since the last video I uh, fully assembled the kit, and uh, tonight uh, was actually the first time I powered it up. And uh, well, we have received, we have transmit. So, basically, what I've got done here I've got a power indicator, a little green LED. Uh, the whole kit is running off a 9 volt battery. Uh, I have a 680 ohm resistor in series with the LED here. So of course you have your uh, speaker output here. You have your key input here. And this thing I brought is a little variable resistor. It's 50k. And I have this tied into the main board in here. So instead of boring a hole here and using a screwdriver to turn this every single time, you want to do it in. Move the dial back and forth. Much easier. I think it's pretty cool. And to give the uh, receiver a little bit more help with the uh, gain, I've uh, just started using my MFJ uh, 1040C transceiver pre selector right here. It works a treat. <laughs> works very well. So Let's take a look at the inside of uh, this uh, transceiver. Okay, so this is the final assembly for right now anyhow. Um, I have a RCA jack here that goes to my 9 volt battery. That's the same uh, power plug adapter thing I made up for the receptor receiver. Regender receiver. So I'll say what the hell? Got it. So I'll use it on this too. RCA jack goes back to here. This 50k also has a power switch. So yeah. So I have the battery going to the switch and from the switch back to the to the board over here. Um, the ground on this thing is a common ground, so I could put it inside this cabinet here, and we we're best going, no problems. The antenna connection here even though it comes with this piece in the kit I decided against using this and instead went with some RG174 coax between here and the connector and the receive came up a lot stronger by using the coax <laughs> um, so yeah again 680 ohm resistor to the, to the switch uh, I wound the coils or the cores they're always interesting to, to do so I wound these guys, it mightn't be perfect by no means but hey and of course I use my old trick that I like using now is use the old candle drip 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 down on the down on the cores to keep the uh, to keep the turns in in order <laughs> um, so in this kit um, let me find if I got a little little pointer. Here we go. So in my kit, uh, I was left over a couple of capacitors, and this resistor here, this one mag resistor, was missing in the kit I had. Luckily, I had one in my spare parts bin, so I added that uh, resistor in there. So yeah, I think it uh, came out pretty good. I got a regular SO239, SO239 on the, in the cabinet. The cabinet is an old CB radio. The cabinet is from an old CB radio. Uh, I had a piece of flat aluminum. Uh, so I just put that right across the front. It had a lip on it and it had bolted that down as you can see. So now it's just, uh, it's all held in place. There's two bolts underneath. Then I got the circuit board mounted directly to the front panel, and I got two standoffs that screws to the bottom cover. Um, the RF output transistor is this one here. A lot of people has a lot of trouble apparently with this one burning up and getting too hot. So I put this nice juicy heat sink on it, and yeah, this should be a wall trying to trying to get that one hot for sure. 7.023 megahertz. And you come with two crystals before I couldn't 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 realize what I needed two crystals for. Well, 
One's for your receive and one was for the transmit. So as you can see, 7.023. And we've got the same thing over here. 7.023. So there we have it. Very nice. It works pretty good for what it is. But uh, there you have it. And a couple little modifications I'm thinking I'm going to add to this thing besides, you know, the control. Um, I'm thinking about adding a little built-in antenna tuner up here in the back to help tune the transmitter. And I'm also thinking about adding a, um, if it's possible, an S meter as well as relative uh, power output meter as well. Probably share the same meter. But uh, I'm not sure how to tie that in at the moment. For that S meter part of it anyway. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking about doing, especially if I run this thing on 12 volt, is adding a, um, an, um, an audio amplifier board here. So it could drive that speaker. A little 8 ohm 2 watt speaker. I think it would be cool if I can get that to get it to run that speaker. They don't have to be using headphones. But uh, audio amplifier will probably be the next thing I'm going to build. And if I do that, so I don't need to modify this board, is I might add another jack uh, next to here, basically. And what it would be, I just have to put make a little jumper to go from here to here. So you plug it into this one, and then that'll add audio into the amp and the amp to the speaker. So a little jumper wire jumper cable. I think that would work pretty good. But uh, anyway, I guess we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's probably going to be my next modification is Bill Naughty went for this thing. And uh, that way I can run the speaker. But uh, that's another story. Anyways, that's the kit. And that's the transceiver. CW 7.023 and I got it run, got running off a 9 volt battery. <laughs> awesome.